Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the new Mate Manjaro release. It is a community release. It's based upon the Unstable branch of Arch. Uh, and so if you do install it, you'll want to, uh, if you spot any bugs, you can click on this forum post. Now this is the release announcement on Manjaro's website. If you scroll to the bottom, there's a forum post link where you can go to the new forum and add in uh, information to Philip Mueller uh, and he will uh, take that information and see if he can resolve any bugs that are associated. Now so far I haven't found any um, but let's take a look at what we have out of the box. Now I will say that out of the box I'm gonna show you the menu that you have out of the box the main menu okay so out of the box this is what you have I want to move that a little bit okay so out of the box you have the applications places and system as you can see this is your Mate menu out of the box. You have the option to add the original Mate menu, which is also nice. But if you want the advanced menu, which I have here, you will need to install that through Yawert. So if you click on Terminal and type Yawert Mate dash menu. you will want to select the AUR, the number two. Mate menu, it says it's out of date, but I installed it, it works fine. It's the advanced menu, and it is the only one that I can find, so I'm leaving that alone. So, as a result, I am removing both of the other menu options, and I'm staying with the advanced menu. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I noticed that NVIDIA, my NVIDIA card was recognized and the drivers were installed out of the box. That's nice. It doesn't happen all, always like that. Normally, I have to go in and install NVIDIA, but in this case, I did not. Um, it, it recognized the card and it installed the 364.19 drivers. So that is very nice. Now I did install, even though Marco has compositing, uh, I installed Compton, I prefer Compton. Um, I also installed Mate Tweak, which is not available out of the box. So if you uh, go into Yawert and Mate Tweak, I'll show you that. You will see Mate Tweak. You want to install the uh, Community Edition, not the out of date one. Um, and so, number one, you can see I have it installed. And uh, that's the one you want. Now, I noticed that it does not have all of the options that some of the other Mate distributions have. For example, um, the, uh, let's see, I installed a Debian Mate and it the the newer version had the tweak which I have here and, and it's got all of the same options but on the interface I only have two Fedora and GNOME 2 now I did a little research on Arch and it said if you have Docky if you install Docky it'll give you the Cupertino option it did not I have a, a Docky installed and uh, it does not have, I did not get, as you can see, Docky is here, and it did not give me the Cupertino option. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that, but you do have a couple of options. The GNOME 2 comes out of the box, and, the, and then if Fedora gives you the same menu, except it adds the, um, 
adds the option for uh, launchers up here and it gives you uh, a file manager a terminal and your browser now let me go back to gnome 2 and as you can see it put the original um, menu back in because I didn't save the panel layout so let's uh, let's try that I'm going to add that menu back in my advanced menu then I'm going to remove that menu I'm going to move that to the left and I will save the panel layout so as you can see it's custom len tweak so now I have Fedora and GNOME 2 now you can set up um, <coughs> your uh, panel the way you want and then save the configuration so that way you don't lose it now uh, as I said I installed uh, Compton now one of the other things you want to make sure you do is rank the mirrors so um, as I mentioned before it's sudo pacman mirrors dash g and if you run that command it'll go through and it'll uh, test and measure all of the download speeds on the various mirrors and it will rank them and update your pacman configuration so that way uh, from then on you'll be using the fastest mirror and it does make a big difference in the update speed and your and your speed downloading new packages now for appearance the theme I believe is this vertex Maya you can switch to the dark theme as you can see and it is a nice dark theme there's no issues at all I think I'll leave that and as you can see it modifies everything um, you've got backgrounds you can change the fonts and the interface now I prefer the arc theme which I can install um, if you let me show you how to do that if you go into your terminal and just do a uh, a search, a Yaward search, and I think it's called um, let's try Arc Theme. Yeah, so you can install the Arc Themes um, from Yaward. There's only one available. And actually I think there's a different one but I'm not gonna have time to go into it but if you it, I think it's called GTK themes uh, and so if I do Yawert GTK theme uh, as you can see there are 91 of them and there are lots to choose from you can install these go through them if you see something that you like then you can install it I'm not sure if that's going to show in my themes yet and it does uh, arc arc dark arc docker so as you can see it's got a little bit of a different look than Maya if I select that it's got a blue, a blue um, and it's really nice. Uh, it does change the uh, icons, of course, because the other icons are keyed into the vertex uh, Maya theme. Um, I'm not a big fan of those um, icons anyway, so if I click on Customize, and I can change the icons you can go back to uh, the vertex Maya 
or you can use the Fienza. Now the Fienza has a greenish tint to it. If you prefer the standard Fienza icons, those are available. Uh, so let's try that. And I think it's called Fienza Icon Theme. Well, let's take a look. <clears throat> and this doesn't take long to install and then once the Fienza icon theme it'll have a, di a little bit of a different look it won't have this greenish tint to it I believe it's more of a blue and so that will match the um, the theme that I have the arc theme with the with the blue highlights <clears throat> so this should be done uh, very shortly and it is done so let me go back into appearance and see if those icons are showing as available and they are so I'm gonna use those and that should be fine just the way it is So now I have the arc theme. It's got the blue. Um, everything looks fine. If you want to change your wallpaper, uh, there's plenty of backgrounds available. So if you see something that you prefer, you can uh, pull in that particular wallpaper, which is what I just did. So I think that is it for this Mate uh, discussion uh, everything's working fine as I said uh, I would add mate tweak I would add the advanced menu um, and I prefer Compton over Marcos compositing but that's really a personal preference so guys that is it uh, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of a uh, look at uh, the new Mate Manjaro. Uh, as always, it's running rock solid. I don't have any issues with it. I'm going to run it for a few days and see how it goes. So guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by the channel, uh, and I'll see you soon. Take care.